Hi everybody, welcome back to the Moose. Now we have a very special guest here at the Music Moose Studios, and which happens to be uh, the home I live in. And what we're going to do, since Anthony's here, by the way, this is Anthony Hannigan. Hello everyone in Moose Land. And uh, I consider him to be, and I know him to be, one of the best mandolinists in the country. And I'm not kidding any of you. Well, thank you, Dave. And what we're going to do, we're just going to have a little impromptu jam just for kicks, um, just like they do all across America, playing bluegrass in their homes in the evening. So we're just going to pick on a few different things. And Completely unrehearsed. Completely. We've played these songs in various configurations yes. throughout our life. But we but haven't played in quite a while. So no. And it's it, rare to see it's... Uh, Dave on the guitar, which I also consider one of the best banjo players in the world, and to see him play the guitar is quite a um, pleasurable event for myself. So we're just going to pick a few tunes, and uh, we might make a few mistakes here and there, but we're just going to keep the cameras rolling, and uh, we're going to play uh, an old traditional tune to start out. We're going to sing a little bit for you, too. It's called In the Pines.
switch up a little bit and play pick on the banjo a little bit. I might need to borrow that mysterious pick from you there, David. Oh, yes. <laughs> we just lost a pick and we've been searching here for a half an hour and have yet to find it. We will someday, though. Check your tuning. I'm going to back up away from this mic just a little bit because that banjo is probably going to be a little bit more This song is a song that uh, David wrote over here that we do on a um, CD, Hickory Project, called Traveling On. And you can get this CD if you log on to hickoryproject.com. And then right after you're done with hickoryproject.com, make sure you go back to musicmoose.org. song that we're very happy about. A song called Traveling On. Actually, this song I wrote the lyrics to, but you oh, that's, you remember you wrote the music. I, I, I do, I do. How quickly we forget some of these things. This was what, what you call hard driving, is that what this De would be? Definitely hard driving. This is definitely grass. Alright, let's give her a try. <laughs> the string up that time and I got stuck up underneath the capo. But that's okay if we're a little sharp or flat sometimes. Lester was flat. <laughs> now, was that banjo a little, was that uh, coming through uh, pretty loud? Yeah. I had some serious tuning, tuning things on that. I don't know if you want to. Uh... Yeah, we better tune up a little bit. I, I think we can do it. We'll do that one again. Anyway, you think that was a keeper? Is that a keeper? My string, when I pushed up that string, it stayed up. When I came off, I couldn't get it to go back down. I don't think I had the capo tight enough. It just caught it and it didn't come back down. Just keep all this running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten minutes. 
David and I were at a bluegrass festival on a weekend in mid-July, and um, at the time we were listening to many different types of experimental acoustic musics. I think it's just a um, kind of a collage of the different musics that influenced us at the time. A little riff that I had that Dave was there and put some chords over top of it. And at the time, that part of our lives, hard cider was the, the big thing, and so we penned the name Hard Cider to the tune. Now we didn't know we drank any of it. No, no, never, never, never. Although we did. <laughs> so in the in the vein of some new acoustic musicians that we were listening to, like Tony Rice and Tony Triska and all the other Tonys, I think um, just going a little bit outside of the box on um, in the actual bluegrass world and uh, coming up with some ideas that we had and kind of vamping on that. Shall we give it a shot there, Dave? See you next time on the moon. 